welcome back to our frutty and frugal corner of Brittany here in northwest France. I put out on my Facebook page, would anyone like to see my month's shopping haul from the French supermarket? People say yes. So here we go. Here's a month's food and I'll go through all the prices as well. Let's see what I bought. I'm going to start with the dry goods, the tin goods, the stuff that needs to go away in my larder. Let's start with this. We have baked beans, 58p a tin, really expensive. Orange squash, 214 a bottle. Nowhere near as commonly drunk here as it is in the UK, it's expensive. Corn flour, 134. Ketchup, massive bottle, 141. Three bars of chocolate, 147. Honey, 289. Marmalade, it's the cheapest one I could find, 79 a jar. Salmon, pink salmon, 138 a tin. Four tins of concentrated tomato puree, 105. Coffee, pure Arabica. There's two packs in there, so that's 142 a pack. Pesto. Pesto was ridiculously expensive. 109 a jar. Uh, pasta sauce. Pasta sauce. I can't make it this cheap. 79 a jar. Tartar sauce, own brand, 89. Mayonnaise, lovely French mayonnaise, one euro a jar. Brown sugar, 119 for 750 grams. Sugar cubes, 74. I keep saying centimes, it's not centimes, cent. 74 cents for one kilo. Dog food, uh, these are little tins, that's 364. 24 pouches of pedigree dog food is 8.98 oil i bought in two different shops in uh we went to lidl 169 for a liter and here i have got how many liters is that i can't see two liters 350 little one that one so that's all going to go in my larder now that's my Tinned and dry goods. Right, the next section is dairy and chilled. So I've got skimmed milk, and that's 71 cents a litre. I have semi-skimmed milk, which is 80 cents a litre. I have butter which is 3.54 for half a kilo, half a kilo. In the UK, you buy your butter in a quarter of a kilo. We buy it in half a kilo. And I find it cheapest in netto. Salted butter costs more than unsalted butter, but we prefer to pay a little more for the salted. Creme fraiche, and what's that one? That's 50 centiliters, so about half a kilo of that. 1.40. Then I've got blue cheese, and that in weight is, you think I'd know what that is, that's 250 grams, 157. Uh, a cream cheese, I don't know why that's so expensive, but it just is, it's 109. And then I've got Emmental, 250 grams, at 182. Uh, moule fruity, which is very cheddar-like, very strong tasting cheese, delicious just to eat like a little cube of cheese, Two ninety nine for three fifty. Eggs, and these are quite large eggs, quite or well, medium to large, medium to large eggs, and that was two forty nine for twelve for free range. I've got Emmental Rappe which was 139 for 200 grams. I freeze this, it freezes well. 
Then we have fromage blanc, which you call in the UK fromage frais, which is lovely to have. We have that as a dessert with defrosted frozen fruits. And they're 21 centimes each, so they're also good for breakfast. These are buckwheat galettes, and they're 189 each. Uh, we don't buy them very often, but uh, we do so every now and then because we think it's good to buy locally made food. And that is my fridge section, my dairy and my egg section. Right, let's go on to the next section, which is bread, cakes and biscuits. Right, let's go down to straight to it. Let's go to here first of all. Pan raisins, 75 centimes each. They freeze. We'll take that, they just lift them out of the box when they're frozen, put them to one side. Pan au chocolat, pan au chocolat, 30 centimes each. Big loaves of bread, 95 cents each. Do you excuse me if I keep saying centimes? I'm an old lady. Cents, 95 cent each. Extra large hamburger rolls. Uh, three packets of those, 67 cent each. Beignets, which is donuts, raspberry jam donuts. 10 for two euros, obviously 20 cents each. These are, I don't know if I've already done them, let's do them again. These are generic Jaffa cakes. Generic Jaffa Cakes, double pack for 99 cent. Speckaloose Biscuits, yummy Speckaloose Biscuits, 142 for a double pack. And these like Rich Tea Biscuits, that's 105. And that's two double, that's a double pack in there as well. So these are very similar to, my husband's favourites, these are very similar to chocolate digestives. There's four, four packs in here. Eight. 87 cents for these. So that's a month of goodies, biscuits, bread, bread rolls. We've got some bread in the freezer already. My husband gets through about a loaf a week. There we are. Next section is my freezer section. I have a kilo of frozen pollock for 4.49. These Mince beef, for whatever reason in France, is really, really expensive. So you can see here I've got steak haché, which is normal, and this one steak, they look the same, don't they? They're not, they're different. Can you see? They're different, and I really mucked up, because these are 10 for 6.55, so 65 cents each. These are much posher ones, lower in fat, not so finely minced, better ones. And these are eights, and that was eight fifty nine. I they were literally next to each other, and I did think they were both six fifty five. Buyer beware! Check 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 when you're shopping, and I just didn't listen to myself. Little peas, and that's a kilo bag there, and that's one euro sixteen cents for those, and that's about to go in my freezer. Next section, meat. This is all going in the freezer. There is way more than a month's meat here. Some of it I bought because some of it was on offer. Some of it I bought because I don't see it very often. Let's break it down. Start over here. Um, this is the nearest thing you can get to bacon in France. I'll turn it over. It's very thin. We have it wrapped around sausages, like pigs in blankets. Minced beef is really expensive here. Don't worry about my dog, it's just saying fuss me. Full price, 7.45 for 800 grams, 20% fat. I got some 30% off, whoopsie doos. So I paid 5.21 for two of them. So I was really, really pleased with that to get something a bit cheaper over here. This is pork shoulder. Uh, I had a check of it. It's not, so the top bits are a bit fatty, but the rest of it are fine. This is the kind of thing that I'll put together and do like sweet and sour pork, uh, slow cooked pork. And then here I have lardons, and that's 149 for 200 grams. 
here going in the freezer. This is the night my husband's doing the dinner. For him to eat for himself, that's lasagna. It's just an emergency thing. Sometimes we put like pizzas in there. Sometimes it's lasagna. Over here, this in the UK, we would call this sausage meat. That's 289 for 500 grams. At the front here, it's ham. It's ham, but this is shoulder, cut from the shoulder. As you can see, it's, it's fine for sandwiches for my husband's lunch. It's got a good long date on it into next month. And that's 175 for 360 grams. Moving over here, <clears throat> excuse me, I have smoked sausages. These can get cut up and put with something else, such with rice or pasta or with chicken. And that's 250 for four sausages. And then here we have pork fricadellum, which is a bit like meatballs, really. I sometimes cut these into four, do them with a the tomato sauce and pasta. And my husband will have that as a pasta sauce and meatballs dinner. Right back here, I have got just under a kilo of steak. You can see here it's cut from the flank. This is what I will use to make pasties. I'll probably make about 10 to 12 pasties from that, so that's not too bad. Here, great big sausages. These are Toulouse sausages, and they're very garlicky, and they're very big. They take a while to cut, to cook. And then we have chipolatas. We have two packs here of 20 chipolatas for 5 99 Now, sausages in France have no stuffing in them. This is just meat. This is just pork. Over here, I've got, now normally I would buy whole chickens, but today, seeing as I got it reduced, um, I've got chicken breast, skinless, boneless chicken breasts reduced to 5.77 a kilo. And even at 8.25 for a kilo with absolutely no waste, that's still not bad. We usually just have one each. And back here, I have uh, casserole beef, and that's 555 for what's the weight on that? 600 grams, and that's 925 a kilo. Little thing I've forgotten down here is some nice ham. We will have our nice ham with our Breton galettes. So we'll have nice ham, an egg, and um, grated cheese and that's a Breton complete. It's a very traditional thing to eat here. I have got over a month's meat here. So for example, the 800 grams of minced beef there would probably make a lasagna and a cottage pie or two cottage pies. So it, I'm, I do make it go a long way. I make it go a long way. That's the meat section done. Okay, on to my fruit and vegetables. Now this is the bit that always stuns people who are not from France, who don't live in France, how much we pay for fruit and vegetables. So let's have a squiz over here. Let's start over here, for example. We have cauliflowers, and those were 129 each. It's really, really cheap, but they're not very big, so that's 129 each. I have five kilos of potatoes were 2 .99. I have half a kilo of on the vine tomatoes, 1.49. I have three lemons. You can see they're really big ones, really big lemons for 1.19. I have two kilos of French carrots and that's 1.79. I have two courgettes, 1.23. I have a kilo of French apples, $1.99. One cucumber, they were on offer, they were cheap. I grabbed it quickly. $1.19 for a cucumber, but they're big. And then butternut squash, you can see here, gets the size of my house, hand. Butternut squash, $1.99. It's a big one. 
and celery French celery and you can see my big bunch of it is $1.99 I use a lot of celery and there's my fruit and vegetables some of this will last into two weeks if not longer the butternut squash lasts the celery lasts what I do with the celery if I don't use it all in one go I chop it up and freeze it courgettes we'll eat those quick and things like the cucumber and the tomatoes will eat those quickly the apples will keep the lemons will keep potatoes will last us two to three weeks the cauliflowers they last a couple of weeks as well and that's my fruit and vegetables they're not for the entire month we will need to top this up we also have some frozen vegetables and some tinned vegetables so this is part of it well i hope you found that interesting i think any of you in the uk will be stunned how much we pay for things some things are similar some things about are maybe a little bit less some things are a lot more you've got to be thrifty and creative to cook in france well there you are that is my massive months shop big french supermarket haul i went to intermarche i went to netto and i went to lidl no they're not sponsoring me shame but i might have got the stuff a bit cheaper if i had so it's not sponsored there's my shopping for the month now you can come back next week and see what i cook for the week so that's our next video what i ate for a whole week but for now I'm going to say thank you and goodbye, and as ever, thank you so much for watching. Can I ask you, go on, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. What were you surprised about? What did you think, oh, that was expensive? Leave a comment, I always answer. The only request I have for you is go on, hit that subscribe button. It costs you nothing, but it really helps me. So thank you very much again this time for coming to see my month's supermarket haul from french supermarkets thanks very much see you next time goodbye